Hello everyone, my name is William. Welcome to Laravel. In our last video, we had created such a nice um, interface for our chat application and we had been able to use Vault to be able to send our messages to the database. In this episode, I would like us to give it the live interactivity and that is what I would like us to just jump right ahead into it and do it. I'd like us to do some changes inside our ENV file. So I open ENV and the first thing that I would like to change the broadcast driver we are going to change and have it as pusher. I will also scroll downwards and change one or two things. We had uh, set up some uh, default keys for our socket uh, app and so we had app ID, app secret, every other thing is okay. I would like to change the port to 6001 and I would also want to change the pusher scheme to HTTP. HTTPS will not work because in this case in my machine it is not uh, secure so I cannot be able to use HTTPS and if you are pushing your application to production you will change this to HTTPS. I would like us to go to our chat component so you go to resources views live wire inside here we have a chat component which we created in our previous tutorial i would like after we send the message then we also go ahead and emit an event after emitting the event then we can be able to broadcast it which it will be listened to via Laravel Echo, so it will be broadcasted to Soketi and then to Laravel Echo, and then we can be able to attach it in our Livewire Vault application. So let us go ahead and do that. The first thing I want to do is to create the event. I'm going to run the command php artisan make event. So if you want to create an event, you will do it like that. And then you can put the name of the event. Let me call it new message event. I will hit enter. Our event has been created. It is actually uh, found here in app. Then we have a new directory called events. So inside here we have new message event. I would like to dispatch this event here. So I can uh, go ahead and say new message event like that. And then we can dispatch it. And if we dispatch it like this, of course, it has no data, but we want it to have some data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change whatever it is that we have in our message. While we were saving the message, I'm going to save everything in a variable. So I'm going to have a variable called message. And that is what I will save, whatever it is that we have here. So our new message. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pass in message into our event. After that, I would like to open the new message event. And I want to talk about a few things. So interacts with sockets is what enables uh, whatever it is that you're working with to be listened to by socket and to be transmitted. And then we have the broadcasting channel. So this one is a public channel whereby everybody can be able to subscribe to the changes, or in this case, to the events that will be broadcasted. Then we have presence channel. This is a channel whereby we can talk about maybe something sort of like a subscription system where the users subscribe or join the channel or opt out. And also where maybe we can be able to use it to check the currently current online user or, not, or, 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 or the user who has gone offline. And this channel has to be auth authorized for one to be able to view the events. And then we have the private channel, which also has to be authorized for one to view the events. But I would like us to use the private channel. That is the one that we are going to work with. And then for us to be able to use the broadcasting, we need to include here after the, the new message event class, then we can say implements. And then we can say should broadcast. So once we have it that way, we are moving on well. And since we are able to emit the event, 
inside the constructor i would like us to pass in our message so we're going to have public message that is the message uh, model and then we can pass in the message that we are passing from our um, component and above here we can say use use app models message just to check that everything is working fine i can be able to say dd message and save and then i will try to type in something so i refresh and then type in something and submit and it's saying new message event not found that is because i have not been able to include it above here in our chat component so what i'm going to do i will include include it here use app events and then new message new message event i will refresh and try again so i want to type something else submit now you can see we are able to check whatever it is that we did pass in so the message i typed in was hello and we can have updated that use id and the id of that uh, specific message and so basically if we are able to uh, dump and die here we are in a position to listen to the message so the next thing i want us to do is to broadcast on and we have several functions that you can be able to set here the first one is broadcast on and this as you can see we are returning an array of values you can be able to have various channels listening to that specific single broadcast then you can also have public function broadcast with you can pass any additional uh, data and then you can have also public function uh, broadcast as and uh, then you can also broadcast when so in this case uh, if uh, then the um, maybe you can have if let me say the values reach a specific number so if it, there are messages or whatever it is that you're working with the subscriptions then you can be able to broadcast the event when the subscriptions reach a certain level basically that is what you can be able to do but in this case for us we are sticking to our private channel and I want to call our channel name new message. So that is what we are going to call it. Sometimes you may want to broadcast various events through the same specific channel name. So in this case, you can be able to attach maybe the ID. For example, if we are to attach the ID of the message, we can be able to just say this message id and now this event will be broadcasting as new message but dot 21 dot 22 depending on the id of the message that you are passing but uh, for the specific thing that i want us to do we will not do it that way so i'm going to remove everything and just leave it like that so new message after that i would like to go to the channels since this is a channel that has to be authenticated so only authenticated users can be able to listen to this channel and it is okay because as you can see for for us the users in our chat application must first of all be logged in for it for them to be able to uh, view the chats and be able to also participate so i want us to open routes then channel and this is where we do sort of uh, we register our channels whereby we can be able to have the authorization callback and we authenticate the users that we want to listen to a specific channel and here i would like us to just uh, copy whatever it is that you have here and then i will change the channel name so in this case if you were to pass in the id so maybe you could have new message and then dot id if you were to do it in the example that i that I mentioned initially but um, I do not require to be used like that so I will just remove the ID after that you can be able to perform your authorization here so in this case this one says use ID is equals to ID and whatever it is that you want but for my application I want every user within the application to have sort of like a group chat feeling so everybody can be able to to chat and since all of them are authenticated i can just return true 
After that, I would like to go to Laravel Echo, and I, I, I do configurations there, and the file that I'm going to do changes on is a file that is found inside uh, resources, and then JavaScript, and inside here we have bootstrap.js. I would like to check if everything is working. The reason why I'm typing whatever it is that we're having here is just to check if everything is working. Once I can confirm that, then we can be able to listen to our event inside Vault. So what I'm going to do here is type window.echo, and then we can be able to put in the name of our channel. So in this case, if it is public, you can have channel. If it is a presence, you can write presence. But since ours is private, I'm going to write private. And then we will pass in the name of our channel name. So in this case, new message. And then we can have dot listen. And then inside here, we can pass in the name of our event. So our event, I think, is called new message event. Then use the arrow function. Then here you can say console.log event. I will save. And I actually want to see if it is possible for us to listen to this event. So you go to check inside our new message events and see if I am still having the... No, I have commented it out, this DD that we are having. So I think we can attempt and see. And what I would like to do is to just open uh, the inspector panel on the side and so we will open it and then of course the other thing that you're supposed to do is to ensure that um, socket is running and then we are having that uh, the pusher js is giving us uh, an error of uh, 500 in our in our inspector to solve this problem of um that we're having here of uh, internal server error, what we can do, we can pass in the user here. So if we have an authenticated user, we can say user, and then user, like that. I believe that you'll be able to solve the issue. Yes, it's cleared. I would like us to attempt and uh, type in something and see if you'll be able to listen to it. Now you can see we have a message so meaning everything is working the way it's supposed to be so now i would like us to just comment out whatever it is that we have on a laravel echo so in this case you go to um up bootstrap.js and i just want to comment everything that we have here out we can now go to our chat component and resources uh, views live wire chat component and above here where we're having the live wire vault we can also include we have include state mount and i also want us to include on such that we are able to listen to laravel events inside our vault component and what we are going to have we will say on and then we will have it like that and then inside that we will have an array of values and then we are listening to an echo event so you say echo and it is a private so we will have echo hyphen private and then the name of our broadcasted uh, event so the broadcasted channel is a um, new message and then we will put a comma and have the event so the event is new message event after that we can have a function and then inside here we can be able to do anything so i want us to just see if uh, everything is working fine so i'm going to say dd one two three just to check that if we send a new message or any other user sends a new message from wherever they are we can be able to listen to that event and act on it accordingly. So if everything is fine here, we will be able to see some changes. So let me just refresh what we're having here. And I want us to just type uh, hello and click the button. Now you can see we're having one, two, three. Amazing. 
we have been able to listen to that broadcasting event. And it's not just that message that we type in ourselves, even a message that will be typed in by another user. We can be able to listen to it and then from there perform the necessary um, uh, changes. So in this case, update whatever it is that we have here. So what I want us to do is just to update the whole thing. So in this case, I'm just going to copy what we have in the mount function here, where we are getting the all the messages. I'm just co going to copy this and paste it in here. After that, I want us to check and see what happens. So I want to type in another message. I will type in yes. And now you can see it is actually updating as we are able to see it just immediately. I also would like to just modify this. The button is supposed to be send button, not button. So I will change this to send. I would like to prevent, since we do not have any validation, a user can click on uh, this send button and send an empty message. So that's what I want us to prevent. I will not se send back validation messages. I will just prevent that message from being sent. So I'm going to include the rules here and then we can be able to have the validation rules even before the send function. And what we can be able to do, we will just have rules. And inside here, we can be able to say, to have an array of values. And we can say message, it is required. We will have it in a quotation like that. We can even say the minimum, minimum. We can say one character such that somebody will not we will not type an empty message and then have it sent. So basically, I think this will be able to handle whatever it is that we want perfectly. So I want to try again and then type in uh, something else. Uh, here I am. Here I am. Send. Now you can see it's being shown. I would like to open an incog incognito window and have logged in, log in as another user. So I will move this to the side, and then localhost 8000. I just want to pick a user from the database again. So another user apart from the current user. So you pick maybe user number four, and log him in. So you click on this one, and then log in that user. And here we can paste in the email, the password, and then login. Now, as you can see, even a newly logged in user will be able to see all the chats that are there. And uh, you can see, hey, and see it's updated here and also updated here and also the name of the user. And still we can um, be able to to type in something on this other side and see if we can be able to see sit on uh, the other chat so maybe uh, we can type in uh, you came early and send and if we go to this other one you can see you came early so basically you have been able to achieve that aspect of uh, live chat functionality in our application and that is what i promised that i wanted to do at the beginning of this tutorial uh, video I believe throughout the series, you've been able to learn something. I would like to thank you for following this video up until this point. If you like the video, please do not forget to give us a thumbs up. And also, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have a burning issue, you can be able to shoot in the comment section below. Thank you very much.